Hi, this is Damon Tordini with Hawkridge Systems. Today we're talking about the optimization capability in SOLIDWORKS Simulation. SOLIDWORKS Simulation is the built-in analysis tool inside SOLIDWORKS that allows you to quickly check any model for a variety of simulation conditions, such as excessive stress, or temperatures, or vibration. For example, here I've got a gear that's part of a complex machine, which I need to check to make sure the material won't bend or break during its operation. I can do that by creating a simple stress analysis, and in this case using the 2D simplification capability because of the constant thickness of the gear, which I simply have to define. The 2D simplification will allow me to use a much more detailed mesh on this gear, getting me more accurate results in less solution time. I've already run the stress analysis on the initial design of this gear. Assuming it's fixed at the center and putting a 2,000 pound force on one of the teeth, I've also applied a cast carbon steel material to the future tree, which has automatically been copied into my simulation setup. The requirement of this gear is to have a factor of safety of 2, and by looking at the stress and factor of safety plots, I can tell that this initial design is meeting that requirement. The factor of safety is about 2.3. So I might consider this a successful design, but like any good engineer, I can realize that there's some room for improvement in this product. For example, I might want to try to create a lighter product that still meets that factor of safety of two. I could do this by increasing the size and shape of those cutouts in the gear. Of course, the beauty of SOLIDWORKS simulation is that since it's integrated into your modeling environment, I can simply go back to the future tree, try adjusting some dimensions, and rerun my simulation to check that factor of safety again. But what if I'm looking for the best possible design, the best combination of these different dimensions that still meets that requirement? The design study in SOLIDWORKS Simulation allows users to run a number of iterations simultaneously to check different values for these variables, which could be model dimensions or different values for the simulation parameters. A further extension of the design study capability is the optimization mode, where instead of defining the value for these variables in each iteration, instead users can define a range, typing in a minimum and maximum value to try so that SOLIDWORKS simulation will find the best value or best combination of values automatically. Here I'm looking for the best value of the slot angle, the top clearance dimension, and the bottom clearance dimension within the ranges that I've specified. I've also described my requirement, which is a constraint of a factor of safety of 2. I've created a sensor to measure that factor of safety from my simulation studies results. I've also created a sensor to measure the mass of this part, which in this case I'm trying to minimize. So I've set that as the goal, but other potential goals could be to maximize the factor of safety or minimize the first natural mode in a frequency analysis. When I hit run, SOLIDWORKS Simulation will automatically generate a large number of iterations, trying out these different combinations of my variables, finding the value of my constraint, and then checking to see whether or not this is the best value of my goal. Some iterations will violate the constraint, and that's highlighted in red. I can also see that the different iterations, of course, are saving weight in certain cases, and SOLIDWORKS Simulation will identify which combination of values has the lowest mass without violating that factor safety constraint. When the optimization is complete, the optimal version of this gear is displayed, and I can see that I was able to save over 2 pounds of weight from the baseline design while still meeting my factor safety requirement. I can also look at all the other iterations that were tried and were not the best design, as well as examine the factor of safety plots for all of these, and look at trend graphs, which will show how the factor of safety or any other constraint varied with the different input parameters. In the end, the optimization study has allowed me not to just find what the strongest version of this gear is, but the version of this gear which is strong enough and also less expensive to manufacture. 